Hi, this is Steffi from Steffi's Beads and Baubles, and I've got kind of a unique and unusual project to show you today. I went on a trip recently, and I used some baby pins for closing up a bag. I had a purse that didn't have a zipper, and I just put a charm on it to make it a little prettier. And so I thought what fun it would be to actually put an embellishment on it so that when I used it, it'd look a little prettier. So today I made up a few to show you, and then I'll show you how I did it. This one and these what these are are wooden buttons you can buy on eBay really cheap if you look under wood buttons. There's hundreds of them. And I just put a little glitter on them with glue just to give them a little sparkle. And then these are from the charms. I did a charm making video that you can watch if you've never made a charm. And I'll show you how to make them. And I just tried to match them up as best I could. This was a wooden piece I got at Target, oh, a couple years ago in their front section where they have the dollar and two dollar and I got a whole bag of these snowflakes for real cheap. Then this is one I just did that I thought was kind of fun. I took this earring, I cut off the ear wire, this earring, to cut off the ear wire. Sorry, I'm still frazzled. I'm still trying to get that other video done. I just tried two more times and for some reason that video I wrote the frustration video about just doesn't want to be made. So I'm going to take a break and go back to it. So after two tries, I'm done. So I'm a little frazzled today, I apologize. But I took this earring apart and I cut off the loop on the top piece here and glued it upside down. And then I took the other half and made a dangle out of it and made that into its own little set. And you could do that with anything. Now I'm mixed metals here because safety pins only come in silver. Um, if you don't like mixed metals, then you could do the same thing with silver. But you just glue them on, and I'm using Gorilla Hot Glue with a high temperature gun. And so I'm going to show you how I do this. I take the safety pin, and I make sure that I have it so that that piece is up. And then I simply put some of the Gorilla Glue onto the pin. I'm pretty generous. I put the button or whatever embellishment you want right there and hold it tight for a minute and it holds fast very fast so adjust it as quick as you can then you pick the dangle that you want to use and you're going to want to get a jump ring which of course I didn't get like I said I'm very frazzled today two days I've tried to get you that video and I don't know really what's going on so we're going to take I think those are a little too small we're going to take a little bit bigger head pin than, or uh, not head pin, but jump ring. And you can take the jump ring. You're going to open it up. Now you could loop this right onto the, to this. If you make your own, you could make that loop bigger. But these I tried and they didn't hang very well. But if I was going to do it again, I might make the loop a little bigger so that it would hang directly on there. But that's basically what you do and you just try to match the style to the bead and I already had a bunch of these made up but you can make up personal ones to go with your thing now this one I'm gonna do a pearl now I'm gonna tell you the pearls are a little off in color again an earring that I cut the um, pin off of and I'm gonna put a little on that and a little bit on the safety pin and I'm gonna see how that works because that's not quite flat. So we'll see if that works well or not. It might not. So what I think I'm going to do is get in behind it and add a little bit more glue. See if it takes. Like I said, this one's more three-dimensional. So it might not take as well. So let's see. The earring has a little scratch on it right there. I don't know if you can see it right there. Can you see that? But what you could do with that is just glue a little rhinestone over it or a little tiny butterfly or a sequin or something to hide that if you find that you have one like that. I just wanted something to show you. I think it might work. It's not going to be a perfect one. But this is more to show you some ideas. I don't really care if it's perfect. 
and then I made these angel charms in another video and so I thought I would take since it's a pearl I would hang that on there and that's one of the first videos I did as well is showing you how to make these little angel charms then you're going to want to make sure you've got it so that that's up and that happens all the time when you're working with these tiny tiny jump rings okay and then you're just going to hook it on the safety pin I always use two pliers because you get a better tighter oh it's going to go again tighter fit and just kind of rub them back and forth till they're tight and if that works that'll be another cute one and you can use these on a purse, on a diaper bag, on a book bag. Kind of like a purse hook, except it's a pin you can use if you need to clip something. You could take and put rhinestone chain around this. I mean, all kinds of stuff you could do. And the other embellishments you can use, there's lots of different things you can do. And I got these safety pins on eBay pretty cheap. In fact, I've got some colored ones coming too. And I'll do some more when I get those. But you can use these little cameo things. I got these on clearance at Hobby Lobby. And they're kind of cute. So let me see how that'll look. I bought them and then kind of thought, hmm, what am I going to do with those? Well, this will be perfect. Try to hide the pin as much as you can. And then I have this really pretty green and pink. That one might almost be big enough. But I'm still going to use the jump ring because I like the way it moves a little better when you have the jump ring. There it is. And this is a real easy, fun, these would make great gifts, shower gifts. They'd make all kinds of, you know, great gifts. I mean, they're just kind of different. And I'll be listing these in my Etsy shop too, because I think they're kind of fun and different. I haven't seen anyone else do them. This is another piece I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby that I thought I would try. I got three of them. There was a pink, a silver, and a green. So let's see how those look. And the ones that I let dry already, they dried really fast and they are tight. This hot glue really works great. You have to use it with a high heat gun if you're going to use it on plastic and metal like this. Or plastic to plastic, and that's metal to plastic. And then I could hang, and you don't even have to hang um, a beta charm. Here's a little cross that's pretty. You could just put that right on there. And that would be nice too. And I just put it backwards. Is that funny or what? There we go. I didn't. I just had it upside down. So there you go. You can use any kind of charm. Anything you like. Like I always say, there's no right or wrong. And you don't have to clip it that way. You could clip it that way. It really doesn't matter. I'm just choosing one way and doing that. If you like rhinestones, you could even do one of the little butterfly rhinestones. Okay, these little guys here, you get them at the Dollar Tree. They're very cheap. And I think they're cute. You can just you stick it on there. Just cover your pin. And look at that cute little rhinestone butterfly. And then with that, you could do any kind of uh, charm. I have, and this is another way you could do it with the hook if you wanted, but you could hook um, any kind of dangle on there you liked. Being he's pink, you could do a white, a little white one. And this is on a lobster claw, which you could even do that as well. If you have a lot of little lobster claws, which I do, then you could change it out whenever you wanted to. So anyway, I'll show you a couple of them up close again. This is a little Paris button I got in a big selection of buttons and I just put a little bit of 
glitter on it with glue. These were like pretty kind of uh, Mandela looks and I thought the feather would look nice with that. The pearl seems to be holding okay. And once these things are dry, they seem to hold really good. I mean, I'm tugging on that and it's not coming off. And this one has an arrow, which I thought looked good with that one. So it's just one more thing you could do and you could use, here's some, uh, I bought three of these in a container too. They were on a string. But you could glue these on to the pins. Or these were an embellishment I took off a choker. Those would look nice. You could hang a small cameo off of the end of one as well if you wanted. And that would be cute as well. There's really no end to what you could do with these. And I just thought I'd share them. I thought they'd be something kind of fun and different. I haven't seen anyone else do them. If they have, I haven't seen it. And I just thought it'd be a fun project. Easy, easy to do. Simple. A lot of you will have many of the materials already. And these are really cheap on Amazon. And I got a bag coming with all different colors. But I wanted to wait. I didn't want to wait, so I decided I'd do it while I had the white. So, <clears throat> just have some fun and make yourself some little safety pins that you can use for all kinds of projects. They're really great for pinning anything to anything, so, and they make it just a little prettier. So thank you again, and I appreciate you coming by, and I will be back soon. If you haven't subscribed, I'd sure appreciate it, and if you like this video, if you'd give it a like, it would mean a lot to me. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.